MPU6050 is a sensor integrating an accelerometer and a gyroscope. It has high accuracy and is capable of measuring and outputting X, Y, and Z channel data simultaneously. This is a sensor ball, in which the chip is building the accelerometer and gyroscope. The MPU6050 is installed between the two legs of Clivo C6. There are eight pins on the sensor ball. Pin 1 and 2 are supplied by 5 volts. Pin 3 and 4 is SCL and SDA ports respectively, which connects to pin SCL and SDA on Arduino. MPU6050 is an I2C device, which can communicate with Arduino on I2C bus. Wire library is declared at the front to allow pin A4 and A5, namely SDA and SCL, to be used for I2C communication. MPU6050 can be accessed at the address 0x68 on the I2C bus, where 0x means 68 is a has a decimal number. A variable MPU underscore adder is defined to access this address. To initiate the Y library and join the I2C bus, begin function is called. The next operation is to begin a transmission to the MPU6050 with the given address. The first write function is called to access 0x6b on MPU6050, which is a power management resistor. There is a slip bit in this register has to be clear to disable the slip mode. And then the registers for the accelerometer and gyroscope can be read. After the initial communication and the transmission function is called to end the preparation work between Arduino and MPU6050, the MPU6050 is now ready to read data. In loop function, the accelerometer and gyroscope data will be read and shown on the serial monitor. First, begin transmission function starts the communication with MPU6050. Write function accesses 0x38 location. There is 14 byte space in total starting from 0x3b to 0x48 to store 7 types of accelerometer and gyroscope data, including acceleration x direction, y direction, z direction, temperature, gyro x direction, y direction, and z direction. Request form function is called to request consecutive 14 byte data from MPU6050. After this line, read function will retrieve data from 0x38. Since there are seven types of sensor data, two bytes are used to store high and low byte. To get one type of sensor data, the high and low bytes need to be combined, which is done by bit shift left and binary OR operations. By calling read function twice in one go in cooperating with bit shift and OR operations, one type of sensor data can be assigned to a variable. Other six types of data will be retrieved and prepared in the same way in other six variables.
ultimately, the seven types of data are shown in the serial monitor, which is the most recent accelerometer and gyroscope measurements.